Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. All right, people, it's Wednesday afternoon and once again, time for the NDPSR. I am Joe Schmidt, joined as always by Paige Driscoll, and we will call this the IDFA uh, basis loaded episode as folks work their way back from the desert to reality. And what better place to start than with butter? This butter number here at essentially 190 is essentially flat to the CME weekly average of 189.90. We had a little bit higher than normal volume, which I think is interesting. And this basis at flat is a little bit of a change as of late because the butter basis has been all over the road. You'll remember that last week we were five full cents over and that followed two weeks of minus four. So typically butter has tracks the most consistently, but lately it's been all over the road. It will be interesting to see what butter basis does as we carve out new lows at the CME. And here in the block, the block number, call it uh, 190, pretty good number uh, on 11 and a half, a little bit over 11 and a half million pounds. At 190, I have that as essentially two and a half cents over the two week average at the CME of 188.27. So we had a little bit of a down tick at the CME, uh, but that was short lived. Looks like very little of those values got in because here on the NDPSR, we are call it basically up a penny. And moving on to the barrel, this might be a little bit of a surprise to some here close to 165, 164.84. I have that at full 10 cents over the two week average at the CME of 154.77. Now you would expect big basis because the barrel went down rapidly and then of course bounced off those lows. So it doesn't look like a lot of those values in the low 150s are gonna get in. And I would expect that for the January price and this being week four of five for January, I would expect that we probably, we likely don't have a barrel number below 160. One thing, I, one thing I would like to point out is this barrel volume, north of 12 million pounds, which is of course higher than the block volume. And it's interesting here now with the innovation of the block futures at the CME, we're coming up with all these formulas so you can derive a futures barrel price. But a lot of those are contingent on volume, thinking that probably 52% of the cheese volume stems from the blocks and 48 comes from the barrels. This week throws those calculations askew because you have barrel volume greater than block volume. Moving on to whey. It's a interesting whey number here. Call it up about a half, 3409. The CME weekly average that week was 32.95. And what's interesting is we traded 54 loads on the CME for a total of 2.3 million pounds. So of this 5.4, 2.3 traded at the exchange and you would think traded at some sort of discount to that uh, 33 weekly average. So this number at 34 is really impressive. A full penny and a half over the prior week's NDPSR number and then even with all that extra volume on the exchange, we're still able to achieve a higher print on the NDPSR. Certainly something to keep an eye on going forward. And in non-fat, 124.74 represents a minus one basis. We are back to minus one basis after printing a penny and a half over. We had a little bit of a down tick at CME. NDPSR was able to print a premium last week. Then the CME, of course, moved higher and the NDPSR was unable to keep up with those gains. So we had really good volume, but a negative basis. It'll be interesting going forward because the CME has sold off of those highs, but is still above the levels that we're seeing here. So it'll be interesting to watch how the NDPSR correlates to the CME in the weeks to come. So this is, as I said, week four of five for January. I currently have January coming in close to that 17 even level in January class three, 30 cents over class four. It's interesting because still, if you look out at the futures for July to D's, that relationship inverts and you have class four, 30 cents over class three, which is atypical 
to uh, historical levels. I have just been informed that uh, due to some scheduling conflicts, we won't be able to have an episode of Basis Loaded next week. So it will be two weeks until I see you again. Until then, thanks so much. On behalf of Paige, I'm Joe. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.